imagine this, I'm going to give you contrast. If I'm just looking out there, I can see a bird fly quickly from A to B and then maybe gone. He's not showing that. He's showing a scene of a slow flying, which sounds strange, and then not going. It's like I have to stop and I can't go too far. Does that make sense to you? Because that's important if, the, if I'm right that you say yes, because then I know I've got him. But I don't have him exuberant, excited. I have him not being able to fly very far. So that's probably the past. But do you understand that? Uh -huh. Good. Then I'm good again. I don't have a huge happiness. I don't have a let me out, let me go. I need to see things. It's more of I'm here and I'm secluded and um, not feeling great to fly. That would be a good way to describe it. Not feeling... Not yet? Yeah, yeah that's a good question. If I have a tree, he shows himself in it. That's about it. And I feel like, if I can see through his eyes, I feel like I'm looking that way, mainly that way, fine enough, looking that way, I'm looking up, not feeling comfortable to fly. Predators, what are we looking at? Maybe predators in the sky, as well as predators elsewhere. So I'm not supposed to be on the ground, I'm supposed to be up high. I don't have a long ability, a long ability to fly, but I do have predators in the sky. In other words, he shows himself finding an area and not wanting to move from it. So feeling a tad secluded and not feeling comfortable to to leave an area. His desire to eat will not override his fear. That would mean if we have food here and there's something that makes him unhappy, worried, concerned, he's not going to eat. Where she showed herself sort of, I'll eat here, I'll go there, whatever it takes, and she doesn't really know what could harm her. He's the opposite, which would be if you're there, not going to eat. There's something else that not going to eat. So he's going to be the type not to eat. In, instead of going out there and getting it done. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a good feeling on it. I don't have a good feeling like if we were to put him out now, today, I could put money on that he wouldn't make it. There's just not I a like survival <laughs> thing, right? It's that thing of, it's not gonna make it. Uh, he knows what he shouldn't do. Like he knows he shouldn't be on the ground. He knows he, what he shouldn't do, but he's gonna stand still versus doing anything else. If we look down the road, I think it's difficult for him to come up with, well, I'll make it. He's not giving you any steps to go, tomorrow I'll do this, next week this. I don't have his self-esteem high, and I don't have his drive high. So you'd have to kind of get the body, mind, and spirit back on track, because I don't really have any one of them back on track. It's like they're all off tilt, and they're all um, can disconcerting or worried is a good way to tell you. We would call it depressed. We would say depressed. That's my best way to tell you. I have a bird that's depressed, not knowing how to get out of that cycle. Here's that side and he's saying it's one specific thing and it's come with this movement. That movement. I don't think his organs were affected. So he's not showing any organ problems so that's fantastic there's my first smile it's like okay inside we're good so he he knows he's good inside fantastic kept speaking around the corner it's just cute like that so i have a wing in and out actually okay so there's something about this movement's okay but it's about here it's that same image i could see here that he goes there's my issue there's some issue here so his concern would be here that, does that make sense to you as to why? Could be. Um, like his radio is, he has a fracture in the radio. So he had the bandage there like almost a month. So maybe like the muscles, like the muscles. fracture is not completely healed. And the muscles are uh, with a contracture or contracted for a long time. So we started hence his week, hence he would be saying, I don't know my stamina in the sky. Uh -huh. We don't know, I don't know if with that fracture he's going to be able to fly. Yeah. I have a minor deformity, not a lot, for the ankle. 
I don't have it as major. I have it as minor. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it's not a fracture, but I am not sure what it is. I think it's a tendon or something that just broke. Yeah. The description I would have is minor, and although I don't necessarily feel it would look 100% correct, it should not hinder who he is. So if that's all he had, he could be in the wild. That's what it's being shown to me. Mm -hmm. So it's not your major piece. I have this is your major piece. Mm -hmm. so yes, because with the, with the leg, um, he can like land or perch like that. But it's not, it won't work. it's not so much a prediction, you know, it's, it's the animal communication means mm -hmm. to him. So you're looking at today in this moment. If you said, can you check in with him in a month's time, maybe you've got a totally different session because it's like talking to you in one month and not what happened in between, okay. and he could be great. But his mm -hmm. concern would be here, which could match your concern. Mm -hmm. And if you see an improvement, he may even be more uplifted by it and realize what well, she sees it, I feel it. But together it's like you're not sure and he's not feeling it right now. So it's going to create that combination of him being a little concerned about it. But I may say, well, this is in the early st stages. Give your body a chance to heal. Let Sophie do her magic. And, um, you know, let go one step at a time because miracles happen. And at this stage, he's looking to go back out, but he can't go back out until he's got a high percentage chance of survival. So for me, I can tell him, look, you're gonna be here. We're looking at complete rehab. She's got a great eye to know if you're doing fine, and together you guys will work on his release. Does that sound okay?